hello and happy June. It's actually July by the time you're seeing this, but that is irrelevant. You are in the future, I am in the past. Um, today is the 10th. Yes, the 10th. And I just finished filming a project that I'm working on with the brand um, Il Maquillage. I am doing an Instagram ad for them, so I just finished that up today, right now. And how cute is this little um, silk, what do you call it, hair scarf? It's just like a scarf silk scarf. I got it on Amazon. It was like $6.99, but it's so cute. I'm just feeling this vibe for summer. Excuse me. Do you mind? Ooh, he wants to make his debut. Huh? In last month's vlog, you saw him looking shaggy, but he went to the groomers. <laughs> and now look at him. He's so fresh and so clean. I love it when like I bring them to the groomers and I get them shaved down. Oh, come here, let me wipe your eyes. He gets the crusties. I love it when they're like all their furs shaved off because they look so tiny and so cute. Do you want? Look at the ears. Look at the ears. I love it. The trigger is do you want they they know what that means and then they they pop up their ears and they wait to hear what follows that phrase because they know it's going to either be like a, a T R E A T or a W A L K or you know something exciting so that's how I get them to stick their ears up in photos fun fact right do you want now one floppy. When he, his fur is long, you can't tell that the one ear, it hangs over floppy. <laughs> but when he's shaved, you can. It's like 100 degrees out, so that's why I like to keep their fur, fur nice and short, especially in the summer, because it's just, their fur is just too much, right? They were so happy when they came out of the groomers. I swear to God, like, they both were in the best mood for the next, like, two days. Gunner, who usually sleeps all day, he was just wanting to be social. He was like, oh, I feel like a new person. <laughs> so, yeah, I was really happy because after quarantine and everything being shut down, all of the groomers, once they opened up, they were booked solid for weeks and I just couldn't get them in. But we finally got them in and I just think they look so cute. Huh? You look so cute. So anyway, um, yeah, I, what's going on right now with me? Not a whole lot. I've been on an Amazon shopping spree. Like I can't stop ordering shit on Amazon. So I was thinking I was, would do like an Amazon, like favorites type of a situation. Um, updates on my gut since the last time, last month's vlog. If you haven't seen last month's vlog and I referenced anything, you're not sure what the hell I'm talking about. You want to watch that vlog, but Basically, I started like a new diet for my gut health because shit was out of whack. Like my stomach, anytime I ate something was like blowing up like a balloon and I was just feeling like not well, like really fatigued, like really just gross. And I had done a round of antibiotics back in January. And if you aren't aware, anti <laughs> you mind? antibiotics, basically it's like total devastation on the bacteria in your gut. Gut meaning your stomach and your intestines. Well, that bacteria is what breaks down the food and shuffle it to the proper, you know, cells for it to be converted and used for energy and function in our body. And when you wipe it all out, basically candida, which is a fungus, overgrows it candida is the same thing that's in a yeast infection like a regular yeast infection or like athlete's foot um or like any kind of like skin fungal infection it's kind of the same idea it's yeast and the bacteria in your gut keeps that in check 
but when you take an antibiotic and you wipe all the good bacteria out, you're giving the yeast chance to overgrow because there's nothing keeping it in check. So what happens is it wreaks havoc on your body. It can cause leaky gut, it can cause um, just a whole slew of problems. Depression, skin issues, um, everything from physical to mental problems. And it can be deadly if it gets in your bloodstream, but I mean, it's, it's rare. I mean, you have to be pretty, pretty messed up for that to happen. But if I was a better, I would bet that a majority of the people in our country, in the United States, have some sort of candida infection. That's not, maybe not the right word, but like overgrowth. Because we all have taken antibiotics at some point or another. And you wanna take probiotics right after. And sometimes, I've read conflicting reports. I've, I've read that if you take it during antibiotic, it's kind of stupid because the antibiotic's wiping it out. And I've read that you should take it two hours apart so you don't kill that colony. But then like, what happens when you take them? I don't know. I, it doesn't make sense to me to take it during, but I could be wrong. For me, you want to take a probiotic after your round of antibiotics is done so that you can rebuild your colony, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, I didn't do that. Uh, no, I did do that. I take it back. I did. I did one round of probiotics, but it just wasn't enough because candida lives on sugar. This is going to be a little science lesson right now. Um, candida lives on sugar. So any kind of carbs, whether it's natural or processed, candida is going to feed off of it. So sugary fruits feeding candida. Uh, chips, feeding candida. Regular potatoes, feeding candida. Basically, in order to kill candida, you have to starve it. So in order to starve it, you have to cut sugars out of your diet. In order to cut sugars out of your diet, you have to cut out every carbohydrate known to man, with the exception of berries. Anything low in sugars, fine. And you have to up it with candida fighting foods, um, there, are, there are things like, um, I want to say caprylic acid is in coconut oil, coconut products, coconut itself. <laughs> so, it, you know, coconut oil is good. I actually just ordered a bottle of caprylic acid because caprylic acid kills candida. There's a lot of candida cleansing formulas, like you can get supplements, but you have to do your research because a lot of them are weak. You know, they're not strong enough. Um, I would recommend a caprylic acid just like straight up, straight up caprylic acid. But you want to get one that has magnesium and calcium. I could be making that up. But magnesium and calcium, I believe, because it helps it to get through your stomach and get into your intestines to get to the candida. Anyway, it's going well. Um, I lost weight right away and then it tapered because this diet is high in fat and I was actually doing the opposite of that for years. I was like low fat, high, um, medium carb. Now this diet is very high in fat um, just by nature, by the foods that I'm eating. And I also didn't work out for an entire week and a half because working out causes inflammation and that was the other thing. I wanted to reduce inflammation in my body, create a more alkaline environment and kill off candida. So I'm kind of like triple whammying my situation, um, which limited a lot of foods for me that maybe you don't have to necessarily limit if you're trying to clean up candida. I know there were several of you that were interested in this stuff and that's why I'm going into it a little bit more in depth than I did in last month's vlog because I asked you guys if you were interested in this stuff and some of you were. So if not, you can fast forward, but anyway. I've been, I'm a creature of habit. I can eat the same things over and over and over again. So I've pretty much eaten the same meal plan for two weeks now. I feel a lot better rested. Uh, I don't have brain fog anymore. That's a side effect of candida. I had said in last month's vlog that I was going to do this diet for one week and after the first week I knew like I wasn't done, like there's still more to do. I didn't create this mess in a day 
or in a week so it's gonna take a little bit longer it might take me a couple months even um, I've been reading like with some people it takes months to get rid of this shit so I'm just gonna listen to my body at this point I have gotten back into my workouts slowly but surely keeping out inflammatory foods still not eating any um, animal protein no chicken no meat no fish no none of that um, just because it's fine for candida, but it's difficult to digest. So I'm trying to give my digestive system like a break and make it easy for it, you know, not more difficult. So I've still been animal free, except for my bone broth. Hopefully throughout this vlog, I will show you my entire what I'm eating. It may not be in a whole day, but I will show you what I'm eating. Um, I'm eating four meals a day so I will get into that and I showed you my grocery haul so if you didn't watch that in last month's vlog and you're curious as to what I'm buying and eating you can check that out I know I'm referencing again all the shit from my last month's vlog but kind of picking up where I left off the disrespect with this camera it's ridiculous it keeps hanging up on me or <laughs> hanging up on me you know what I'm saying shutting off on me I'm gonna sit down and eat dinner watch a little bit of TV and then I'm probably going to start editing. I would say that I would sit on the patio and watch TV for a bit later tonight, but it's 5,000 degrees. I might be able to. It might get cool enough today. Tomorrow it won't. But I did um, pull the trigger on Showtime because I love Homeland. And season 8 is fully out now. And I have like a 30-day free trial on Showtime so I can binge it. I'm a binger. I don't like waiting week to week for shows. So I held off while it was airing week to week so that I could binge it all at once. Also, Billions is on Showtime. I try to limit my TV. While I'm eating dinner, I'll probably catch up on a couple YouTube videos. Because if I start like binging a show, like it's really hard for me to step away from it and go back to work. So it's one of those things I have to do like at the end of the day when I'm like done working. So I'm going to do that. And... That's my day today. Nothing exciting. I, I, I hope I have more excitement for you in June. Because May was a dud. Okay, so here is the latest version of my breakfast. Um, it sort of evolved since I showed you guys my grocery haul in the last vlog. I've definitely kind of created my own concoction. And as I go with this diet, I'm ch constantly tweaking and changing things. So here is my basic breakfast. So I take oat bran, and oat bran it's important because there's something to do with um, the way your body processes oat bran. It's different than regular oats. So oat bran is the only one that's allowed on the candida diet. You don't wanna do like regular oats. So anyway, I have these little coffee scoopers inside here. So I basically did four of those. And this is maca powder, and maca powder is really great at regulating your hormones. So I like to do a coffee, I have coffee scoops and everything. I like to do a scoop of this powder as well. So that's that. Um, I do have berries, and mine are frozen um, because otherwise they would go bad too fast. So I'm going to put those in. And I also have this collagen powder. Now I worked with this um, brand on a blog post, and I've been using their collagen powder, and I like these because they're in individual packets. You know how much to use. So I like to add this in. Collagen helps repair your intestinal tract and helps um, with your gut health. It also adds protein and it's good for your skin as well. So I've been adding this in to the mixture. It tastes like nothing. It, it'll take on the taste of whatever you put it with. So it you don't even notice it basically is what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so the yogurt that I've been using is this one from Kite Hill. This yogurt is unsweetened. This freaking... 32 ounce tub is like nine or ten dollars at Sprouts, which is ridiculous. And I'd like to learn how to make my own. I just haven't gotten there yet, but I really do like it. And with just like a squirt of stevia, because it doesn't, it's unsweetened, so it doesn't have any flavor or sweetness. I mean, it has flavor, but 
Anyway, I like to put a good amount in here. And the thing about the Candida diet that I'm sort of enjoying at the current moment is there is no calorie counting or macros involved. You just eat whatever. So that's that. And I'm going to put in the berries. This isn't going as pretty as I would have liked it. And then I recently just started adding coconut flakes. These are organic unsweetened from Trader Joe's and, and coconut actually is an antifungal and helps to fight candida. So I've been adding that in. So there you go. And then I have this liquid stevia and I actually will just do one squirt and I just sort of drizzle it all over but I mean it depends on how much you like your stuff sweet I mean my mother thinks that's a, a lot but for me I don't because I like sweet so that's it so it's not really a beautifully displayed bowl it's not as pretty as I would have liked it to be for you but I mean you get the you get the point you can see this is it and when I mix it all together it all blends up nice and it's kind of like um, a cold oatmeal or porridge type of vibe and I've really been enjoying it satisfies my sweet tooth but there's literally no sugar in here and it's candida fighting goodness <laughs> well hello long time no talk um I just finished filming I feel like every time I start this these vlogs I just finished filming it's because I shoot the makeup look and it's the same camera. I shoot it with my vlog camera. So I'm like, oh, I should vlog. Um, so I just finished a couple of TikToks and I did a project that was a partnership. Now the dogs are begging me to take them for a WALK. I actually did my hair today, which is very rare, but I did. Can I just tell you, my hair is so long Look at this. It is ridiculous. Like, look at this. I need a haircut so bad. I don't know at what point I will cut my hair off. Like, what age? What age is inappropriate to have long ass hair? Because I feel like a lot of people put in extensions to get their hair long probably not even this long and i don't need to do that it's like one of my few strengths okay <laughs> so i have good hair but anyway um i don't know i don't i don't think i'll ever cut it short my hair ends up looking like a mushroom when it's short now i'm trying to find some decent lighting here um so i was thinking that what i would do is show you a couple more um of the candida friendly meals that I've been doing. I've been making tweaks, like I'm constantly altering the the different meals, which I knew I was going to do because based on my body, you know, like just responses to my body and, or my body's responses to the food and whatnot. I'm like completely delirious right now. I have been working all day long and it's like 6.30 right now and I have not eaten. I usually eat dinner at five. So, let me walk these dogs and then I will come back and I will show you food. And she's back from walking the dogs and it's golden hour. Oh, hi. Hello. Hello, golden hour light. I'm going to show you the cookie recipe first that I have. Really? I have a new tripod and it sucks. It's just different. Um, anyway. I'm going to show you the cookie recipe first because I'm losing light here and then I'll show you my dinner. It's basically that soup, but I'm now adding in chicken. So I started adding in protein because I was getting ravenous. Like the, I don't know how people do like plant-based diets because the protein is what keeps you full and it's just not enough protein it's just not enough i need like 
I need more. So I started adding in eggs and I started adding in chicken in small amounts, not a lot, to up my protein so that I wouldn't overeat. So for the cookie recipe, um, basically it's coconut flour. The recipe itself calls for xylitol because xylitol does kill candida, but I don't have any on hand. But I do have organic coconut sugar and I've been using that instead. And coconut's an antifungal, so I'm going for it. Or I have been going for it. I've made this twice. So um, also almond butter. So I, you have to make sure that it's unsweetened. So this is just raw, creamy almond butter. I've got baking powder and baking soda, which you need both. This is a double acting, so it serves as both. And cinnamon, salt, and one egg. And also coconut oil. I almost forgot about that. So I'm gonna mix up all the ingredients and I will show you the batter. All right, so here is what the batter looks like, but I've already spooned it into little balls in my air fryer. This is my air fryer. I don't really use my oven anymore because my air fryer does everything. So if it's just me, I don't have to cook a big meal. I can literally, anything I need to do in the oven, I can do it in this air fryer. So I love that. I have like this little rack. So I covered it in tin foil. If you're gonna do this in the oven, um, you need to put it on 350. It says 350 for eight to nine minutes. But because the air fryer cooks everything all the way around, I put it 350 for six minutes. So I will let that cook. Here is my soup, which is just cabbage, broccoli slaw. I have Brussels sprouts and carrots this time and a little bit of chicken. And the bone broth I made from scratch with the chicken. What do you have to say for yourself? Why are you so cute? Hmm? Why are you so cute? Why? <laughs> what? You are so cute, I got nothing for you. You're both beggars, you're little beggars. Okay, they just came out and here's what they look like. I mean, they're not beautiful, but they are delicious, especially when you're on such a restrictive diet and you want something sweet. They're, you know, actually helping the cause. Um, I am gonna get the xylitol because xylitol does kill candida. And we want that, um, so I'm going to get some of that. But I will continue to make this because it really just satisfies the sweet craving. So I am about to go live on a Zoom meeting. And the reason that I'm not on that computer and I'm on this computer is because for some reason, this computer is so painfully slow and the, and the camera on it is really, really shitty and pixelated because it's from... 2014 it's an older computer this one's brand spanking new so i moved my laptop into here we're getting on a zoom meeting to learn about this blue algae vitamin c dark spot correcting peel and i'm getting on this zoom with a lot of editors and pretty big people in the beauty industry so i'm about to get on there now and see what this is all about Alginist means the genius of algae, and it has been our mission and our passion to study algae, continually turning to algae again and again to bring brand new ingredients to skincare never seen before. So if you guys have been following me for a while, you guys already know that this is my favorite brand. And Tammy Yezar was on the podcast last year, and that's how I discovered this brand. And I have noticed the biggest changes in my skin from this brand. I am not sponsored by them. I wish I was, but I love them so, so much. Which is the most premium, purest form of vitamin C, which naturally occurs in algae, which is L-ascorbic acid. Don't do your eyelids. I would say like eyebrow to eyelash line, off limits always with acids. Okay, so we just finished. And I will say that I really like the peel. I feel like my skin looks really, really good. I'm trying to take off my gel polish right now. <laughs> I have, um, I've been using this nail addict and they have a remover that you just paint on and it like shrivels up the gel and, rem and makes it easy to scrape off. So that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. But my skin 
I feel looks really good after the peel. It was interesting them showing, you know, some of their clinical studies and trials and stuff like that showing how people's skin looked after only using the product for three days or three times because you're only supposed to do it once or twice a week because it's got a lot of acids in it um, but it's very soothing to the skin doesn't dry your skin out um, it might make it a little bit red but you're only supposed to use this at night it traps the moisture in your skin so I guess it makes your skin more hydrated more glowy it removes any dark spots at all on your face it's also good for preventative it has a AHAs BHAs she said it's literally all of the acids in one product it's very gentle but it does the same thing as an in-office peel without all of the harshness that comes along with it. I'm glad that I did it with them so that I could actually see for myself what, what my skin looked like after. So I'm definitely going to be incorporating this. I, I'm obsessed with this brand, you guys. I, I've been swearing by them for a solid year. I think it is the most underrated, under talked about, underrepresented skincare brand. I really like this. I'm excited to keep using it and see what a difference that it will make on my skin over time. I haven't had Botox in <laughs> quite a while and I don't know when I'm going to be able to go to LA with the way that things are. There's been, what's the word, explosions? <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word. There's a bunch of new cases just popping up and you know that's what happens when you decide to protest you know I have really strong feelings about the whole protesting thing can we like protest maybe after the deadly virus that's going around anyway um, I haven't been going out and I've, I'm fairly certain I told you guys that like a bunch of times by now that I've decided to keep, you know, continue to quarantine because I think going out is stupid because it's not gone. And sure enough, now there's like all these new cases in California and everywhere really. And I'm in Vegas and everyone's going down the strip. No one's social distancing. People are bitching about wearing masks. And I'm like, okay, you know, the, the people who are not wearing masks and not social distancing. All you're doing is you're gonna make us go backwards and you're gonna prolong the time that we're going through this bullshit. Like, don't you wanna get back to normal? Cause I sure as fuck do. But like, if you get back to normal too soon, then what's, what good is it gonna do us? Hello gang. I have the fan on, so that might it might be a little bit loud. I just finished filming this look with the Natasha Denona bronze palette. Funny story palette came yesterday smashed into a million pieces um I showed it on my insta stories and then I performed some surgery with rubbing alcohol and I got it somewhat decent like I pressed it in with the rubbing alcohol so how you do this in case you don't know you pour rubbing alcohol on the broken shadow you lay clear plastic wrap and then you press it into the pan with the plastic wrap and then you just leave it with the plastic wrap over it 24 hours and then you peel it off and here's what you get so not too bad like the shades that shattered were these two these three these two and that one so quite a bit of the palette was a mess so that happened good times but I was able to film anyway and I did this look and I love it um what else do I want to tell you I'm gonna go eat right now because I'm starving I feel like I say that every five minutes I'm having my soup I kind of switched around the order this month but I thought what I would do is I would show you some of the supplements that I've incorporated because you're interested in that what else I have to film a few more videos and it's 3 30 8 and the lighting, I'm gonna lose it soon. I have to do a spring favorites video. I've been putting it off. Actually, I filmed it once and the audio was crap because of this damn fan, but it's hot in here, so I forget that I have the fan on and then it messes with my audio. But anyway, so I was gonna run out and do some things today, but I've 
squashed that idea. I'm going to meet Michelle Wong tomorrow for coffee. I haven't been out with anybody to do anything since April. So I'm going to have a coffee with her and she was gonna bring me her Natasha Denona palette. So sweet, Michelle, you're the best. Um, just in case mine didn't work, but I think I got it. I think we're good, I filmed it. And Sephora will have a new palette here for me on Tuesday or Wednesday. So it's fine. Um, but on a good note, my gut is feeling better. My bloating is down. I haven't lost any more weight, but my diet is a lot more calorie dense because I'm subbing fats for carbs and fats have a lot more calories than carbs do. So yeah, I'm not losing any weight currently, but also my workouts have been kind of crap because I've been low energy because my body is healing itself. So I'm trying not to be hard on myself, even though I wouldn't be caught dead in a bathing suit right now. But it's fine, it's fine. No one's going in a pool because COVID is blowing up again. So I just gotta focus on healing, focus on self and we're fine. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the kitchen now. So we have two camps here. We have the, the things I take to heal my gut and then the things I take every day, which I just figured I'd include because they are supplements I take. So for the everyday supplements, I do take a vitamin D. Vitamin D is super important and I don't get enough vitamin D. Even though I live in a very hot, very sunny place, I still, I stay out of the sun, especially in the summertime um, because it's so freaking hot out. So I do take a vitamin D. Vitamin C I've been taking because my mom said I had to. <laughs> because it helps with your immune system and I have um, asthma and COVID, you know, so I need all the help I can get. Um, I do take a fish oil. Whether or not I need it right now, I'm in, on a pretty high fat diet. I don't really know, but I just continue to take it because it's part of my routine. But typically I have a low fat diet. My weight loss go-to, like when I want to get fit, is more of low fat high protein and medium amount of carbs. So I do need to add in the fish oil, um, but I just do it, I continue to do it because it is part of my routine. This I do take every day, these are enzymes. So they basically, you take them with your meal and it helps your stomach to break down your food. Most women um, have some sort of enzyme deficiency um, that's why a lot of women are lactose intolerant and have food intolerances of varying degrees. Well, that's not the only reason, but um, a lot of times we have digestive issues because we have um, a deficiency in our enzymes. So taking digestive enzymes, all it does is just help your stomach um, break down your food. And I definitely notice a difference from when I take these to when I don't take these. And I like this particular brand because it has the enzymes that break down protein, carbs, and milk sugars as well. I don't drink milk, but just in case there's any in anything, these will help break them down to make it easier on my stomach, just in case like accidentally something goes in, you know? Um, so I like this brand, but there are tons of different brands. You gotta just do your research. All right, so for gut health, here we go. This is black walnut. And it's a tincture, so it's a liquid. It is a black liquid. And this is antifungal. So um, this is used actually as a natural um, pesticide because it is toxic to pests. <laughs> so um, you can use this topically on fungal infections, like athlete's foot and things like that it can be used for. But when you ingest it, it's antifungal. It kills off the candida. And it's also anti-parasitic. So sometimes when you have gut issues, you end up with parasites. Um, things like sushi and raw foods can, can carry parasites. So you consume them, now you have parasites. That's a real thing. And this will kill them. So it's kind of a, that's kind of a side bonus. I don't, I don't know or believe that I have parasites. I mean, I feel like there are a lot of side effects when you do. Um, but for this, I'm using it for the antifungal properties to kill the candida, and I've definitely been noticing a difference since I started taking this. 
I take it once a day. You can take it three times a day. I'm just not at all prepared for the most intense side effects of candida death in my body, so I'm trying to take this slow. So I take this once a day. This, this is a yeast, um, which you're not supposed to take any yeast when you're doing a candida cleanse, but this one. This is the only one. It is a probiotic. I actually looked at studies that they showed pictures under a microscope of candida before taking this and candida after taking this. And it's astounding. This actually blocks candida from reproducing and it's very powerful against candida in that way. So you control the population um, with this and then you eradicate it with some other things. So I've been taking caprylic acid. You take this 30 minutes before meals. I may have showed this to you guys already, I can't remember, but this is also antifungal, so this kills um, fungus as well. So between these two that are antifungal and this one that prevents growth, and then I'm also consuming a lot of coconut that is antifungal, and I'm not eating any sugars to feed the candida, that's my combination, my cocktail for eradicating the shit. And hopefully with this combo, I will be done in, you know, three months time. So now I'm a month in, so hopefully two months time. <laughs> Fingers crossed because I'd like to go back to normal and I'd like to lose some weight. Thank you so much. Good morning. I look so pretty. Um, it's the next day, clearly. Um, I went, I had a bunch of more videos to film and then I just like forgot to vlog. So I am just making my yogurt breakfast here. But I am going to be getting ready to go to meet Michelle. It's 7.30 and I have to meet her at 9. So I'm going to just eat a quick breakfast here. And then I got to jump in the shower and um, get ready. I have to actually go publish my Natasha Denona video first. Whip together a thumbnail and get that going. But I'm going to multitask and do that while I'm eating my breakfast. So um, I'm gonna hopefully vlog my coffee date with her. Um, I'll at least throw in a couple clips, hopefully. You know, whenever I, I do go anywhere, I always forget to vlog. Like whenever I have, even before like quarantine, I just always forget. But I'm gonna bring my vlog camera this time because I'm running a bunch of errands and going to Ikea and I just figured I would try to bring you guys along. And since we're almost done with June and uh, I don't know how much <laughs> vlogging I've even done this month. It's like I say that every month and then I go to like edit and I have so much content. I'm like, oh fuck. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. time but uh, we're sitting outside it's not too hot out today it's early still but um, yeah there she is say hello to the vlog fam <laughs> masked up <laughs> <laughs> all right so I'm at Trader Joe's and I'm about to go inside I have to put on my mask I have a pink mask so I'm gonna put this on and then go grab a few groceries and then whatever I don't get here, I'm gonna go to Sprouts. It is windy as fuck out here. I have to pee and I really don't want to use a public restroom. TMI? Perhaps. too much of a clusterfuck to film inside there so um i just got a couple of things i actually didn't even get enough for a full like a big trader joe's bag i just got a couple of supplemental things to make my soup and i got some almond butter and everything but the bagel seasoning and now we're gonna head over to sprouts um to get some things that trader joe's doesn't carry and then I was gonna go to Ikea, but I really have to pee and I do not want to use a public restroom. I just don't want to do it. Um, so I may not make it there. I might go to, there's a home goods right next to Sprouts, so maybe I'll pop in there. 
I can always go to Ikea. It doesn't need to happen now. So only thing is, is I'm experimenting with making a homemade yogurt, homemade oat milk yogurt. I saw a recipe because that Kite Hill yogurt that I use is really expensive. And so I saw a recipe on YouTube. Sorry, am I blocking my camera? Um, I saw a recipe on YouTube for oat milk yogurt and it looks so easy to do, but I need glass jars. I do not have glass jars. So I was gonna get some at Ikea because they have a lot of like kitchen, different kitchen stuff and it's pretty affordable, but they might have it at Home Goods. I did pop in this Home Goods before and it was like wiped out, but we'll see. Maybe I'll just do that. Yeah, good plan. Well, that was an absolute fail. It wasn't a fail in the sense of I found everything I wanted, but it was a fail in the sense of the line was wrapped around to the back of the store. Like I've never seen anything like it in my whole life and I was not about to wait in that. So, oh well, I got to pee. So <laughs> I went into Sprouts already and I got some stuff and now I'm gonna head home because when you gotta go, you gotta go. And plus the dogs have been sitting there since nine o'clock. So I realized I never did close out this vlog. I just ate dinner. So my lipstick's coming off, but I wanted to just wrap it up. Just say, I hope your dream was good. Now that we're moving into July, we're re-entering pandemic. Um, let's go into July with some positive vibes. Maybe not burn the shit to the ground. Be kind to each other. Yeah, let me know what you guys want to see in the next vlog. I made yogurt. If you guys wanna, want me to show you how I made yogurt, I will do that. <clears throat> let me know if you guys are enjoying like the, kind of the wellness part, like the things that I'm kind of dealing with in terms of diet and wellness and things like that. I'm kind of just dabbling in it. I mean, those things are a main part of my life but I'm kind of just dabbling in it with, oh geez, son, in terms of sharing it. But if you guys wanna see more of that, I will definitely share that with you. Yeah, I mean, I wanna hear from you guys what you wanna see from me. Are you liking these vlogs? Are these, <laughs> are these entertaining? Because they're a lot to edit. If you guys are not liking them, like I, you know what I mean? Like I, I won't make them, but if you guys are into them, I'm happy to make them. I just, sometimes I second guess myself cause I'm editing them and I'm wondering like, is this boring? Is this interesting? I'm not sure because it's, you know, I'm in quarantine in my house. So it's like, I'm limited to how much is happening and it's some days it's Groundhog Day most of it is just me focusing on myself. So, you know, I'm happy to share those things with you. I'm assuming a lot of you guys are in that boat too, where like you're at home as well. So thank you so much for hanging out. If you made it this far, I love you. And um, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. I just wanna hold you.